Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, as we can all see, today's daily quest is one that's going to take a few days. Play 40 lands. This does let us choose whatever deck we want to run, but I think today, at least to try to get a head start on the Play 40 lands, we're going to do some mono green. Now, while this is not inherently a ramp-focused deck, you know, getting a lot of land out and stuff like that, there, is, there are several ways of getting land. Uh, mainly, like, uh, Cenote Scout with its explorability ability gives you more, can give you land. And just, uh, there's, there's, a few, there's a few ways. So, yeah, we're going to run some mono green. With that being said... Let's give it a try. There we are. Yes, let's give it a try. Alright, and look at that. Start off with four lands, we'll take it. Um, honestly, not the best start for creatures, but... That shouldn't be too bad. I'm hoping. Oh good. That'll be nice for next turn. Definitely, definitely have some land though. <laughs> definitely have some land. No. I could attack, they could block with Sunshot, dealing, pretty much doing nothing. So I think we'll stick with not attacking just yet. We'll wait for them to attack, if they ever choose to. See, so, you no, know, it's, um... Hold on. What is it? Yeah, it's disguise cost is five. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. It just takes two more turns. Two more turns and we can flip that up. That's fine. Yes, that allows them to create the effect of scry one. That's not that big a deal. getting rid of you. And that did four damage right there. Very nice. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and do go right into this because I need to get rid of their deepest might, so counter and deals damage. Yes, I know what it does. I don't remember right, okay. I think I'm actually going to go into Defiler. I 
I could have taken out some of them, but I just I, I don't know if it's worth it at the moment. I have to give up these cards. Into another orb. Oh, no. Okay, they did that. Cool. standard. And that should be game. Yeah, that pulling Kodama. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, pulling Kodama is what save is what ultimately saved us. Because all modified creatures have you know your modified creatures have trampled and since all of my creatures are modified. It doesn't matter for Defiler, but <laughs> Whew. that was getting a little dicey. <laughs> that was getting dicey, but we will take that win. We will take it and we will run with it. <laughs> Six of our 40, not too bad for one. Not too bad for one match. Either way, let's go ahead and get into the next one. Definitely glad I got rid of their deepest might, though. That would have ended us very quickly. But that's a very good way. That's a that's a interesting way of using that. I initially had a Rakdos sacrifice kind of deck that did something similar to that, but I never really got it to work the way I had hoped. That was very well done. That so that was a very well done deck. We just honestly we got lucky. We got lucky by pulling Kodama at the end there. If we hadn't, if I hadn't drawn that, we would have lost. I would have lost. This is fine. thinking Hester you decided on your hand pretty quickly so there we go sometimes it just takes people a second I respect it surprised they didn't um, maybe they're thinking about pulling a fading hope oh we'll consider okay eh I'll hold I don't see the reason in using my second audacity. Not yet.
Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Use this. Counter. Boom. Get rid of you. I was hoping for the mana so I could get rid of that gin. I didn't want that on the field. Can't be blocked. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I knew that it couldn't be blocked, but I was wondering if it was. It can't be blocked by certain things. But no, just can't be blocked. Excellent. Go ahead right into cemetery. And we'll take. Interesting. Take their haughty gen. And go ahead and boost my beast collar. And that's game. Unless they have something in their hand that they can use. Nope, that is match. Game set match. And that right there is also why I don't always I don't always like doubling up on enchantment aura cards like that, because you never know when you might need it for a second character, for a second creature. And right there that just that worked really well there. So yeah. Hmm. Not too bad, all things considered. Two matches in, two ma two matches win. What? Wait, what? <laughs> two matches in with two win. Uh, anyway, we've played two matches, we've won two matches. With that win, we did level up, which I think was just the Mastery Orb that they showed. No, there's a pack, a Mastery Orb, and a card style for Dramatic Accusation. Alright. I do think we're actually going to wrap things up here. So let's go ahead and claim our reward. It looks like, yep, we are starting in on the last section, the blue, like for, and receiving a card style for Bubble Smuggler. All right, let's see what that is. What is this? Let's see. It's a two cost, two one disguise. Wow, it's expensive. But as you turn it face up, put four plus one plus one counters on it. Hmm. Turning it into a six five. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. Now let's finish things off with the pack opening. Nothing new in our um, commons and uncommons. What is our rare? Ooh, a new one. Barbed Servitor. Let's see, it's indestructible. I'd hope so. Okay, it's a one. It's a four cost one one. Hmm. Indestructible. When it enters the battlefield, suspect it, which gives it menace. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card and you lose one life. Okay. Whenever it is dealt damage, target opponent loses that much life. Oh wow. And since it's and since it's suspected. It has to be blocked by two creatures. Oof. And it's indestructible. Oof. That's... That's terrifying. That is terrifying. Okay. Surprised I have not seen this yet. Wow. I'm surprised I have not seen anyone use that yet. Very interesting card. But with that, we are going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did... Feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.